Well, hello guys. Today uh, we are going to change the anti-roll rod on this uh, Skoda Fabia. This is actually my car for about five years. I already changed them once, I mean twice. Once with uh, some Febby anti-roll rod and uh, those lasted for about a year. And after that, I, uh, to somebody's recommendation, I bought Tereve and uh, these are actually now on the car for about 30,000 kilometers and about three, and a, three years. So, um, I started hearing something uh, strange at, uh, when I was driving through um, bumps and uh, potholes and something like that and uh, or on on roads that are a little bit uh, rougher and uh, <clears throat> yes so uh, there is a strange strange sound coming from the from the wheels actually on the right side it's a little bit more than on the left so um, about yesterday I checked with uh, one of my colleagues and uh, this is the problem I will show you guys how to check it uh, easily but first uh, we must take down the, the wheel and uh, let's see how it looks So this is the part we are going to change and uh, these are located here, uh, connected at uh, the shock absorber and also the anti-roll bar which uh, goes on the other side of the car. Okay, so even at first look we can see that this uh, rubber seal is already gone and uh, yeah this one is okay but actually uh, the bar on the other side it's the one that it's making the noise but um, this should be changed together and also this is this rubber seal is gone so uh, it's not worth it and we will just put the two bars beside each other to check if it's the right part and yeah it looked like it looked like it is so we will have to undo this bolt and this bolt under here and uh, try to take it down so we will clean it a little bit um, with a steel brush and uh, also a little bit of uh, uh, spray and uh, see if if it helps okay so let's do it. Cleaning the threads should make this a little bit easier. But I believe we will still have a hard time.
just a little bit for more more lift mostly for lubrication not for uh, anything else I don't believe in this miracle sprays so So oh, this is a 17 millimeter wrench and uh, okay let's try it first with Just to see if we can loosen it. <sighs> Something happened. Well, I think it's coming out. Well, this one is out and it didn't spin, so I didn't have to hold. Yeah, I didn't have to hold the bolt itself. So let's see here. Hopefully it will be the same. Oh yeah, come to us. Okay. I will try to help myself a little bit. For now it's, it looks like it's working, but who knows. Actually, this one decided to go around, so I will try to hold it somehow. I will, I will need to hold the bolt somehow. Let's see, is it five millimeters? No. Something smaller. Okay, so four down, four millimeters. Yes, this is it. So let's see how can we get it here without removing this plastic butt uh, it's actually actually should go right in well I will not even try with this this should fit more easily I guess So 
so I guess it's in hopefully it's enough to hold the screw okay so I guess we can hold it Well, something is happening. like it should come out we will try to push this down a little bit This should be fine, but I need something longer. So I'm just prying the this bar a little bit down so I can release this tension. And I will try to push it out from the shock absorber yeah this is it not so hard and uh, it should come out from here so this is the this is the old one and besides this broken gasket it doesn't have a big play this is moving a little bit easily but uh, still I cannot feel any play so the biggest problem it's on the other side and uh, that one I know for sure it's uh, really bad so how did I test this uh, it was really easy uh, a colleague just rocked the car from side to side and um, I turned the wheels to one side and just uh, went in with the hand be careful not to uh, have your hand uh, at the wheel while the car is, car is rocking and you can just put your hands on these joints while the car is moving and uh, you will feel you will feel a little bit of breaks in the movement if uh, if these are bad and that's about it and then you should change them it's, they are not really expensive Okay, so this is the new part and yeah, it's the same, so not really a big deal, 
so I will just clean a little bit here just to be sure that the part is staying as it should Hope you can see something of this. Okay, that should be enough. We will bring the new part. It doesn't really matter which way you put it. Okay, so we will try to, as you can see, there is a real, there is a difference. So we will have to get this here, but uh, first we will uh, fix the bottom side first. And we have new nuts for that. just tighten a little bit not entirely and it's already spinning with everything so we must put this back and try to hold the bolt while we are doing this still has enough play but it's also close to the end this is important so uh, when you are tightening the the nuts if uh, the threads are still in on the end of the hole when we tighten the nuts we could damage the these threads so we have to be careful Okay, so here comes the tricky part, but I will do it like before, or at least I will try to do it. Well, almost. like it's not the same car so I'm just pulling here and trying to to 
to get the other end and uh, short absorber. Well, this is not too good. Not work like that. Okay. Here, it's a little bit better, almost, almost. Wow, this doesn't want to work with me try something else okay let's see this looks a little almost well we have to be careful. Pretty much in. We will just put the nut. We will try to tighten it without holding it. So let's see what happens. Well, actually, this is it for this one. This is okay. We will try to... I will have to do this on the bottom side also. And it's okay now, I don't have to hold the screw anymore. So, I will just tighten them, them a little bit. Not too much, because... Okay. A little bit more. This is a trick I learned a while ago and uh, we can make the key a little bit longer so
Okay. This seems to be fine. I will also check this one a little bit. Ah, this one is tight. It's okay. Okay, it's fine. It won't go anywhere. So, this is pretty much it on this side I will just put the wheel back tighten it and go to the other side so this is pretty much it I'm not going to film the other side because it's basically the same okay. so I actually took down the other one also and uh, this one is the problem this side is okay but this one I think I don't know what happened here but I don't know if you can hear it. I will try to just move it like this. Okay, so I hope you could hear that little clicks. And uh, this is what gets amplified in the car. Oh, actually we can see all the inside moving so it's moving with everything yeah and this probably why this gasket is all spinned around okay so that's about it for today uh, this is a job that uh, if you can change a tire I think you could do this also so it's not really worth paying someone to do this the tools needed are uh, at minimum so there is no really special tool needed you can use the jack from your car and uh, just a 17 millimeter key for this model also a 5 millimeter hexagon is needed and that's about it so uh, okay uh, when you put the wheels back uh, the specifications for this one are 120 newton meters per bolt so this is the tightening torque and i always uh, tighten the screws with uh, with a wrench that can measure this torque so if you have a flat somewhere on the road uh, you can open uh, you can lose the bolts easily and uh, not have a really hard time with it so okay guys thank you for watching uh, i will see you next time who knows with uh, what okay so take care bye bye